Founded in 1978, Safe Horizon is the nation's largest provider to victims of crime and abuse. Safe Horizon is also New York City's largest provider of shelter for victims of domestic violence. Dedicated staff at Safe Horizon helps over 250,000 victims move from crisis to confidence. Today we will be speaking with Ariel Zwang, Safe Horizon CEO. Hi Ariel, Hi, thank Tracy. you so much for, for being a part of this. Thank Can you. you just tell us the basics a little bit? Absolutely. Safe Horizon is the nation's leading provider of services to victims of crime and abuse. Most of the people that we help are victims of what we call family violence and abuse. Uh, child abuse, domestic violence, sexual assault, and the most common uh, of those is domestic violence relationship abuse. If someone gets the courage to call mm -hmm. the 311 and they're going to receive help from Safe Horizon, what are the steps? Sure. What can they expect? Well, the first step would be when you call our hotline, you'd speak to someone that really, really listens to you, that isn't going to judge you, mm -hmm. and isn't going to tell you what to do, but is going to find out about your situation and let you know what your options are and what, where can you go if, if, that, if he comes home and that's the case. Where can you take the children if that's the case? Can you save money so that you can stay in a hotel? So those are, are some of the safety planning uh, conversations that we can go through with the, the person who's in this situation. Yeah, and it really it starts with that empowerment because, or that they're not alone, but also the, the empowerment because so many, I, I think, I mean, of course I'm a woman, so I speak from a woman's perspective, they just think, oh, either they can fix it or there's something wrong with them or no one's going to believe them or they don't have the help or they're trapped. Can you walk me through the children, your child advocacy programs, and, mm -hmm. and how do you help, help the children? Well, you know, we serve children 12 and under who are victims of the worst physical abuse and of sexual abuse. So these are sometimes two, three, four, six, eight years old um, who've just suffered the, the unthinkable worst. At our child advocacy centers, we bring together Special Victims Unit of the Police, the real deal SVU, just like, just like on TV, mm -hmm. the prosecutors who prosecute child abuse as well, child protective services, which make sure that the home that the child is going to is safe, and a doctor who is an expert on the injuries that result from child abuse. Wow. So that's the work that we do there. And, and of course, it's not just one day. I mean, the healing for the parents and the children can take weeks and months and, and even years. Okay. But it all starts at a child advocacy center. How do people get involved? One way that everybody can help is by making a contribution because, yeah. honestly, that means that we can then, you know, whether it's buying food for people in our programs or buying counseling, you know, the wherewithal to, to have counseling sessions, uh, to run our hotlines, whatever it might be, those are all programs that desperately need financial support. And how, how does one make a donation? Well, you could visit us on the web, www.safehorizon, all one word, dot org. Or you could call us, 212-577-7700, and we will gratefully accept your donation. Great. I, I just admire what you do so much, and, thank and you. I thank you so much for for you know, sharing it with our audience, and and um, it's really it's really an amazing cause.